I didn't see what he said. Probably some stupid, like, Tank Gideon or something like that. Oathkeeper. Oh, the party's this way. Universal Halo thing with a follow. Didn't look at your Gideon stats. I didn't get to it, man. It was too low on the sheet on the sheet. Ah, uh, my solo laner dies within the first two minutes of the game. That's a classic. That's a certified soul reaper classic. Ah, they're junglers on river buff. Who would have guessed? That's oh, right, I'll take the poke. That's fine. I don't need the river. Because I'm not using mana anyways. And he lost the full wave for it. So, I mean, that's fine. I get a freeze, too. He's pissed. What's up, Andrew? How you doing today? It's a physical classic. True. He's about to build Ashbringer or Crunch. learn they don't need to stick to your lane if you're missing 80% of your health. Well, I think people need to understand that if you're gonna die, you miss the wave no matter what. So if you miss the wave, it's fine. Because if you die, you miss the wave and you give them a kill. So, like, you're, you're getting double negatives on that. So, like, probably shouldn't do that. Oh, he's just fucking on fuck with my team on the 3 camp. I don't really give a fuck. So I'm busy just getting a lead. There I was, CS up. Uh, typical enemy mid laner begging for help. Typical. Of course there's three people here. Why would there not be three people here? I mean, this guy should... Oh, my Fang Mao's low. Makes it, like, kind of sus. Bro. It's so sus, bro. Why are you even 1 HP still there? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. This is actually so criminal, man. That is so criminal. I'm not even gonna lie, that is so criminal. That is actually so criminal. I used my dual link, kill their ADC for it. This bear building Saphir, Mantle, Overlord, Bone, Saw, Basilisk. He has zero kills and died seven times. Kind of crazy he died seven times full tank. It's almost like not having a damage threat is pretty bad. That is criminal that guy lived. Ooh, I'm a real shit. Honestly? Redeemed. Brother. 
I have to hit an E at some point. Otherwise, I'm just not going to win the trade. Ah, typical quick killer streamer. You got me, man. Ha ha. Three people in mid. You got me again. Ha ha. Is this sneak squall in mid? Yes. What's up, Derp? How you doing today? Did I see Grady's 1v1 tournament? I did not watch it, though. No. Did you have a 1v1 tournament yesterday? I thought it was supposed to be on Saturday. Wish people realized they could build magic armor on carry. I mean... You could. Is it good? Not really. Can you? Sure. Does that make it good? Not really. I think Sneaks will ever learn a mage to start another lane. I don't think Sneaks will ever learn how to play a mage, no. I don't think he wants to. by Shepard to spate. Yeah, unfortunately, he does that at uh, 5 a.m. Or, sorry, 5 p.m. Not 5 a.m. Uh, which is just unfortunate timing for me because any time between, like, the end of stream and, like, 6 is really awkward for me. It's a really awkward time. No follow up. We're cooking, boys. We're cooking. Holy, do I get a river? Holy. I'm clicking it, but it won't let me. You think Faye is kind of underrated? I agree. I think Faye is very good. I've been saying Faye is very good for a while. I think people underestimate how much damage her E actually does. The last buff to her E is actually, like, really big, honestly. Going from, like, 15% scaling to 25% on, on each hit is actually, like, massive. I thought she was pretty good before that, even. And I think she's the only mid laner that consistently kills tanks. I think she's very good at killing tanks. Is he here? I feel like he's gonna come back on me because he wants to kill their streamer. I'm a little worried. She can farm, she's nuts. I mean, I just think she's solid. I think she's always been pretty solid, though. I think people play her incorrectly. Is Mega Cosm always going to be the first enemy build? Unless they, you know, make it not good. Yes. Phase your favorite mid. Nobody used her either. Yeah, people also don't build Sky Splitter, so... They can't be trusted, really. Ooh, 
sniped. I actually don't know how he even had vision on him. I'm gonna be honest, because I didn't have vision on him. Kind of criminal. I'll take that flash too, buddy. Oh no, the Argusi is coming. Yoink, I mean, I'll take an assist. I got his flash for free. That means he just dies next time. Pretty solo key phase, don't max E. Yeah, there's a lot of phase that like th uh, max right click and then max the key. Universal Halo, thank you for the follow, by the way. I just saw that. I don't know if I thanked you before. It was like 10 minutes ago, but I appreciate it if you're still in here. Oh, Larry Birdie, don't miss. What do you mean by that? Nice dash, buddy. It's just so easy, man. It's so easy to just not int. Calling mid's weird. I mean, it works against Timmy's. That shit don't work against me. It's not the worst thing in the world, though. There are much worse picks that you could play in mid. It's just not super OP. Very similar like Fang Mao mid, which I played like last game. Like, you could play it. But there are much better picks most of the time. What's up, Grady? How are you doing today? The Greth all a mule. Gradius Maximus. Big fan, big fan. This one of the ones last night and they were lit. I heard. Who won though? Who is the king 1v1er? Why was it not me? Bro, go away. Cold is undefeated. I'm not surprised by that. I think Cold probably would be really good at 1v1ing. So I'm actually not surprised by that. I feel like mechanically, Cold is probably one of the best players. So that does not surprise me. Sneaks and Atomic are cooking too. I don't know. Sneaks ain't cooking right now. Does that make me the best 1v1 right now? Zoro, thing with a follow? I mean, like, hey, bro, can I get a fucking river one goddamn time? I'm literally begging on my hands and fucking knees, man. Say with river buff? I don't have a river buff, man. What are you talking about? In case you make clip from the 1v1s, it was an intense moment. If it wasn't intense, you're catching two unavoidable. But sure.
Single dingo. Holy a river, let's go, dude. I gotta I'm not talking like Grady, bro. I'm saying fucking holy. Somebody did that yesterday. I forget who I was talking to. Somebody did that yesterday and I fucking I was like, man, that was a great Grady impression. And I'm gonna keep fucking doing it. Holy Muriel, holy. Don't they hook this guy like that? I'm not even cooking him. I like Grady, I'm just saying. I gotta stop doing that. Well, I'm dead, but like, it's about the fact that Sneaks died again, which he deserved for picking Kwong mid. If you don't cook your friends, you ain't friends. Look, if you don't cook your friends to their face, you're not friends. You don't let people talk shit about them behind their back, though, you know what I mean? Talk about the Kwong. Well, Sneaks has to learn eventually that he's got to start playing mages. Okay? He makes the game incredibly boring when he does it. For that reason, he needs to die. In game, of course. And that time warp grind, I think it's just good on Faye. I think Wraith Leggings is honestly kind of overrated a little bit. Since it got nerfed. Again. Although I didn't, I didn't even think it was that good last patch. I think it's pretty good on. I thought it was pretty good on the Fae, but even now I think it's even worse. So it's like kind of shit now. But like, I just think it's kind of meh. I know they just have cooldown, honestly. Just throw more abilities out. Proc more Mega Cosm. Proc more Tainted. Throw more E's out. On Fae, it's actually like so busted too. The like two second E is actually nuts. <laughs> this shit's so good. Just strong overall, I agree. I've always thought it was strong. It's just expensive. That's its only problem is it's expensive. Bro, he sold his first item. Sneaks, what are you doing? He had Flux Matrix. Other than time warp is it lets you invade a lot easier. Like doing camps and shit. That shit's way faster with time warp. Oh my god, I can't see Murnock traps, bro. There is so fucking orange on orange on orange. Uh... Secure an objective challenge impossible. Fang Mount easy mode. find a close lane yeah i think it's just like i don't think it's a bad item i've never thought it was a bad item which is really expensive that and like i mean the stats are good i don't know there's actually nothing wrong with the item and stats wise it's just expensive 
But they lowered like Mega Cosm slightly, so it's like a little bit more appealing. Because Mega Cosm's also kind of expensive. You basically put yourself a full tier one item behind before. Now it's like not as clear cut. Let us blast the Sorry, bro. I don't want any kills, Murdoch. Honestly, it's it's fine, bro. It, it's fine, dude. Get yourself some kills, man. I don't, I don't want them. They're my gift to you. I'd rather have my Murdoch snipe than my Murdoch not snipe, so I'm not going to complain. I'm not gonna complain. I already got six, seven, but who's counting? That's a solo. Every kill I get is a solo because you're going single handedly into my stat line in the kill column. If I'm the only one that gets the kill in the kill column, that's a solo to me. Change my mind. He takes my kills, but he don't take my cannon. That's a good man right there. have fun i'm gonna go back actually i need 2k gold i think we go do two camp and five camp real quick i appreciate the shield and the help big dog that's a real support right there we love that gym live thank you for the follow Are you live at the gym, or are you watching things live at the gym? That means I get soloed? No, 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 no. I would never get soloed, because I'm not shit at the game. Okay? That's the difference. No way. Unironically, there's three solos right there. Unironically, every kill I get is a solo kill. Any kill on me is not a solo kill. Everybody knows that. Holy Timmy's? What do you mean? These are high elo Amida City gamers. Honestly, the Kai heal was kind of fat. I actually was not expecting it to be so large considering I had a Manta healed. Your head hurts. Drink some water, my guy. You could be dehydrated. And that's no bueno. Clear that way. Oh, 
where the mid lane war crimes going. They're being committed. As we speak. But I stopped playing Smite when I go back to Smite 2. Uh, I stopped playing Smite because it's kind of like Dej competitively. And uh, Dej is a content creator. Will I play Smite 2 though? I'll definitely play Smite 2. I don't know if I'll main Smite 2, but I'll definitely be tapping into it. Hard to say if I'll full swap though until like it actually comes out. Time Warp Second. Time Warp Second's always been solid. I actually don't think there's a meta where it hasn't been solid. It's just expensive. This is a fake carry game. I'm playing mid. So everyone starts on the Blast Cones. I think they're nice. I don't have an issue with them. I do think they don't really fit the map super, super well. Like, I don't think, like, they're kind of like additions to the map as opposed to, like, being, like, the map made for them, if that makes sense. Which I think kind of diminishes them a little bit. But that's not, like, a, like a super big negative, I think. Not like this, bro. I missed my E twice. The visual upgrade. I do think visually they could be like improved upon, but that's not really like a problem in my opinion. Like it's a problem, but it's not like an immediate like that needs to be fixed today type thing. It just feels like kind of awkward on the map. So I think the map's kind of small, and I think having additional mobility on a small map leads to some like really fast rotation times and things like that combined with the fact that rotation times are already in like increased due to the uh, jungle leashing don't drink my water my bad hold on bro hold on let me get it <sighs> thank for the water much appreciated My boys are inting. That's not good. Oh, that's a Chimera Flash. She can attack right out the mid. I gotta go push waves, unfortunately. What's card for? Cards don't exist, man. They're called items! They're items! I'm sorry. I'm kidding. It's Tainted Scepter. Yeah. It applies anti-heal on abilities and does a little bit of burst damage on abilities. Love seeing Mochi in chat because your cat's name is Mochi. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, where's the pictures of your cat in the Discord? That's all I'm saying. Can't talk about having a cat but not show it. It's a bit criminal. Run.
Ow, that shit fucking hurt. What the fuck? That is so much damage. Oh, and their account is in the jungle. Okay. Alright, deserved, honestly. Deserved, deserved. I probably could have ulted and canceled the count this ult before, but, uh... Too much effort. This is a classic pred experience. I got a crunch. I do, I also have a Fang Mao, believe it or not. Alright, well they get primal, that's kinda bad. Not ideal. New cat pick drops. Cat picks dropped. Let me take a look. Yo. What's he looking at though? That first pick is really nice. I like the lighting on that. I got Murdoch sniped. Dude, I was gonna flash the Chimera, but I got Murdoch sniped. Unfortunate. You've seen many Argus mids going Alk in the orb. I don't know, because they suck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why people think Azur is good or needed. It's kind of like when people go Crystal Tear on Narbash. And they're like, I go it because it has mana regen. If you're running out of mana, you're kind of making a mistake in general, to be honest with you. Like, you're doing something incorrect to be running out of mana. So there's buns on Argus. I think it's buns on everybody. <laughs> it's just... It's not a better item than other items. And it doesn't, like, give you... Like, a, the passive is that you get power, but the power isn't so significant that it's better than the passive from a different item. Which is what makes it kind of mid. lying on his Iggyo video description. What was the Iggy video description? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what it was. I typed those right before I post it, and I honestly, it's just there for flavor text for the algorithm. Unironically. Will my team all die and lose Prime? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. We lost it. Who would have guessed? I mean, they're gonna get mid. I think I can actually clear the wave. They get mid, but there's not really much I can do about that to begin with, so... Why is that team selling me? This is the pretty experience, man. That's what I get every game. Probably a, a character worth building a Zerkoron. Unironically, maybe. 
But even then, it's like, you're still selling it like games. So I don't even think you're finishing a Zerg core. But Alcrot actually does that feel terrible on him. But I still think you sell it late game for World Breaker. I think it's just a better spike. My Fang Meow is deceased. Nope, the Kwong missed the ult. He's dead. Thing hit the pillar, that's really unfortunate. My thing being my E. Do I have 92 mana regen right now? What a heck. I don't think we do this without a jungle. That is troll as fuck. I don't want to give up rent for free. My crunch lived, which is actually really nice. There is no ranked, unfortunately. Oh, what the fuck? I thought he teleported to me. That's why I fucking soul bared. I didn't realize he queued to the wave. We can definitely do this. It's going to be pretty awkward, though. I do have a ton of DPS for it, though. Faye burn is actually disgusting. Something else Faye does an insanely good job at. Two tapping objectives. He didn't teleport to me, man. He's just gonna die. I ulted because I thought he would teleport to me, and he didn't. Just accepted death. So like, if I give you lifesteal, it does not. The only one that gives you lifesteal is a strength tonic. I just ult this guy and he dies. That's not for That is really unfort. I don't think we can end now, actually. Alright, we're chilling. Just have to make sure they don't do prime. These hooters being down when they come back after being destroyed once. I have no idea. They just de they they default to like down. Like they don't shoot again if they go down. 
which I think is really dumb. I think they should change that personally. I think it's a really bad mechanic. Have I not won yet? Uh, Game of Throws, something like that. Oh, uh, what's the point of them respawning? It stops super minions from spawning in the lane. I want to stay next to the Muriel. That's the only use for them, though, is they stop super minions. Which is like, you could do that whether or not they respawn or not. <laughs> but that's what they're just, that, that's what it's for. Muriel's life. Muriel late game might be one of the best characters in the game. Or late game is kind of disgusting. Holy knock up a foe! Oh my god! Yeah. Fisted that guy through space and time. Bro, he is fucking all cleanse. I'm gonna be honest, I thought his cleanse was down. That's the only reason I take that 1v1. Otherwise, I would have just spaced the, my three. I actually thought his cleanse was down. I thought he cleansed like over here in the little fucking fort camp. That's how I thought he got out. Unfortunate. I really thought his shit was down, bro. That sucks. Skill issue. Oh, 360 ohm, show me something big now! No 360 attempt? Can I record this man before the game ends? Uh, the Fae Prestige skin? No. I played too much of everything. 100k? 80. Get your numbers right.